The fact is, technology giveth, technology taketh away. All these companies are represented by two lobby groups, the Recording Industry Association of America and the Motion Picture Association of America. Like it or not, this is who owns and controls our culture. This music was created by my favorite artist, Girl Talk. Girl Talk makes mashups. His computer is an instrument, and the notes he plays are sampled from thousands of pop music classics, cut up and rearranged to create new songs. When Napster was shut down, it was like we were cockroaches, they turned the lights on, we all streamed under the furniture. And um, we had missed the fact that in 18 months, we'd assembled the largest library of human creativity ever, and we'd done it for free. Hey. Hi there. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks, yeah. Uh, I'm making a documentary film, and one of the characters, he uses a lot of different samples in his music. Do we have to clear that for a film as well? Um, is this... Has he released a, C, a CD or a recording of this music? Should I hang up? <laughs> so let's do the math. This Girl Talk song crams 21 songs into three minutes. Each title is owned by an average of four corporations who want at least $2,500 per sample. That makes $210,000 just for the publishers. The recordings are owned by labels another $52,000. So far, that's $262,500. To clear his album, he'd be looking at well over $4 million. And the best part is that if any of these 85 corporations don't like mashups, they can just pull the plug. I don't have a computer at home. I've been at the copyright office for more than 40 years. I've never done a mashup. I've actually never downloaded um, uh, you know, a song that was hanging out there. Can I show you a mashup? Sure. So right now I'm gonna introduce the loop from the Led Zeppelin song, Whole Lot of Love. And I'm gonna have kind of an A-B comparison between that riff and the riff from Muddy Waters, You Need Love. Time out for one second. You can't argue your creativity when it's based on other people's stuff. Taking something that was and turning it into something that it wasn't, um, there's just, there's a gazillion copyright questions that would be a great exam question for a copyright law class. In essence, it's about control. It's really about controlling what you own. To own and, and control his control. own art. Part of what we're trying to do here is make people understand that what they're doing is illegal. Once upon a time, all ideas were in the public domain. But how could an individual now profit from his or her creative efforts? The solution was the first copyright law. The Statute of Anne gave authors exclusive rights to their work, but the law was meant to be a balance between the rights of authors and those of the public. So after 14 years, the work fell into the public domain and anyone could copy it. From the player piano, to the radio, to the VCR, each technology originally copied ideas without paying the copyright holder. For the longest period of time, the industry had controlled technology and therefore the people were subservient to that technology. This is like 
the power goes back to the people. Right. And but, it's definitely been two different but worlds. But there's millions of dollars involved in this. If the record company bosses don't take the money, then the internet people are going to take... Somebody's going to profit off this. And if it's not the artist, then you're profiting illegal. It's bulletproof. If you're going to do this, you're going to have to, people like Metallica with very deep pockets who are very tenacious on your back all the time and whether that's something that you want to continue pursuing, basically. It's easy to find out who you are, okay? We have the date the name, the address, and all the 2,000 songs that you had up on your computer illegally, okay? And you can get five years in jail and $250,000 fines for every single song you steal. Isn't that a little overboard? Without being found guilty of anything, they lost thousands of dollars, and not a penny went to the artists that were supposedly being defended. Before the radio and the record came along, the only way that people made money from, from making music was by standing in a hall and being charismatic. The fact is, technology giveth, technology taketh away. I have started a website called Open Source Cinema, and I put all my footage online to see what people will do with it. So far, this film has been mixed and remixed to the point where 64 university students even got together to make an animated version. So now I've got a posse, and we're creating this movie together. Watch, 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 watch,